Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. Now this will be for the 7th to the 13th of Feb 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it is a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Okay, what's going on with you, Scorp? Scorpio. cards came out okay um i just want to say so far whatever situation in the past you were going through um was not going to lead you to a happy family the you know typical family happily it's like a broken relationship there was a broken relationship is what i want to say I'm trying to get my words out um, but at the same time, it's because due, or due to a lack of somebody wanting to um, change, I guess. Um, they didn't want to change who they were as well because you have the tower in reverse. And like obviously they were trying to avert a disaster as well. Okay, but you've on the bottom you've got the star card and you've also got the page of wands. So it was a spiritual lesson. Whatever you went through, you needed to go through. Um, because it was some sort of spiritual lesson. Um, but the star card's here to say have faith. Like the star is like wish upon a star. It can mean an Aquarius as well, but it's generally someone who um, it's like wish upon a star, manifest what it is you do want, but keep the faith. And because you can have happiness, you can have blessings, you can, miracles can happen, you know, that kind of. So just keep the faith. That's why it's here. Okay, let me see what you've got on the table. So whatever you went through, I feel like, so you had a loss there was I, I don't feel like i feel like this person didn't want to lose you because i do feel like they wanted to reconcile after they hurt you like they wanted to be with you and at the same time like i just said the way it was going it wasn't going to give you this happy family with contentment and you know deep affection and you have the same dreams for your life i feel like it was very different and they might have come in like prince charming but the way they were going they were actually a fraud they were like a fake prince charming because you've got the knight of cups in reverse so yeah i mean something needed to happen they needed to transform you needed to break your cycle um either or it was like whatever whatever there was it was like a choice that somebody didn't want to make like i said there was a lack of balance there was a lack of um like this person the way it was going it just wasn't gonna work pretty much that's the whole story um so you needed to break the cycle or they needed to change and break the cycle take as resonates right so tell me more about this situation You needed to spend some time alone. Um, you needed to turn to your circle of support. And I feel like you were friends probably in the, you know, the beginning. Funny enough, you got three and three. And one's reversed, one's upright. Now, it's all about growth action taken. You know, can you grow from this? And I feel like you can grow from this. 
but there's things you need to do to make that happen and you know which is where the three of wands comes in in reverse you know there was frustration there was obstacles somebody as i said didn't really want to change it was easy to stay where they were in their comfort zone and really you know the other person probably couldn't see sort of where it was going to go from here because i feel like the way it was going it just wasn't wasn't going to go anywhere it wasn't going to fulfill your wishes it wasn't going to end well you know what i mean like it was always just going to end with a broken relationship because there was no hope with the way it was going okay then we have um I'm reading kind of different with you, with everyone today. Um, so whatever I felt like I'm led to do. So yeah, there was no... I feel like somebody needed to make, like figure out what their goals were. What, what did they want? You know, they feared the unknown. There was a lot of inner conflict going on. Um, they didn't have a plan. You know, I just feel like the dream, as I said, your dreams weren't the same. And somebody, you know, wasn't going or wasn't progressing. They weren't moving forward. Their dreams were very different from yours. Um, they could have been the same, but they just weren't weren't progressing to get there because of whatever was going on here. Um, and I feel like that was a very toxic situation that you're in at first. So something needed to change because this person wasn't who they sort of appeared to be. Um, you know, you could have felt like they left you in the cold, but they needed to progress, they needed to change, they needed to move forward, they needed to get a job. You or them, whoever this was, needed to get a job. They needed to focus on their employment. They needed to um, recover, I guess, from financial loss. I feel like you know, it was going to take a lot of strength and courage to do that too. You know, um, there were definite fears. You possibly had fears surrounding money as well. Like the fact that they have lack of. Um, But, like, I feel like there are, you or them, there, you know, this person is a natural born leader. And, you know, I feel like they are very confident and charming and, you know, decisive. They have a lot of experiences and they could have ones in the spotlight too. Public speaking, something like that. But I just, yeah, I feel like... Yeah, they're just, they're making slow progress, like I said. And, you know, the situation that, where they were leaving you in the cold and needing to kind of change a few things, get a job, that kind of thing, you know, I feel like there's been a lot of anxiety and somebody somebody has weirdly I want to say this line is them this line is you this is the situation that's what I'm hearing in my head so you know the situation is that they were this fake prince charming and weren't who you thought they were um you know they felt defeated there was loss they wanted to reconcile um, and at the same time, you needed to break the cycle. Both of you needed to break the cycle because this is like both of you line. And them, your person, and you can vice versa, as I said, but for um, them, it's like 
as I said, they feared the unknown. They needed a plan. They needed to make figure out what their goals were and do something about it to continue to move forward. Figure out what they wanted for their life, really. And then make progress. And then, you know, they need to get a job. They need to recover from this financial loss. This, you know, which was going to take courage. They need to stop the negative thoughts. And... <clears throat> I feel like, you know, take back power. Take, like, step into a leadership role. And do something about like as i said they're a natural born leader they're charming they're decisive they're confident so you know once they get vision they can make it happen and i feel like they need to make it happen tell me more about that tell me more about them yeah like they're your person they feel like they're your person and they see you as that <clears throat> but you know i just feel like with the um, high priestess in reverse, there were secrets. And maybe you withdrew. Maybe, you know, maybe you withdrew from, from them. Somebody needed to forgive and, you know, because they were disappointed. And, and as I said, I feel like you guys were friends and, and maybe even before. And, you know, they're disappointed with what went on in the past. You both are, you know, at the same time, there needs to be forgiveness. There has to be a sacrifice of some kind. Um, somebody needed to work on themselves. And in the end, that was their choice because... Obviously, this emotional loss caused a wake-up call um, as well. Um, okay, and, you know, as much as for you, I feel like, you know, you're impatient. You want things now, now, now. You want this person to be who you thought they were. Um, you know, you're making slow progress. At the same time, it's you going through anxiety. And you've got the choice. It's it's like you're, you're kind of in that place of needing to make a decision between two choices. You're weighing up your options. You know, I don't feel like maybe possibly you have more money than they do or more material goods, material resources, that kind of thing. Um, there needs to be a balance as well in your life and I feel like you need to have some fun you need to with you guys you know I feel like the truth has come out and justice will be served you know this is all about everything we do has a cause and effect and you know I just feel like you stand up for what you believe, but try to see the sides of, like, both sides, not just your own. Um, I feel like you can be successful as long as you both have integrity. Tell me more about you. Yeah, like, I feel like the truth came out and you needed to speak your truth about this deception, about this dishonesty, about, you know, them being sneaky or acting strategic or whatever, um, so you can have a fresh new beginning after a time of being by yourself and contemplating figuring out what it is you want because the way things were going you didn't have the same values so i feel like yeah the truth has come out about this person um 
it caused it, you know, it caused you to have a lack of hope as well. Anymore. Yeah, look, truth came out. Oops. And there was communication. Maybe communication is important. You need to work on that. But you also need to have a fresh start as well. So that the conflict can be behind you. You know, and you can reconcile. And, and yeah, you might have this past resentment. Funny enough, you end on the same card as the one you started with. So, you know, I feel like this can be in the past. And then maybe you can reconcile. But it's going to take strength. All right, that's what I have for you, Scorp. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.